Hello, my name is Gail Glykoff. Today, I'd like to take a look at our Thermoscientific Orion Aquamate spectrophotometers. To get started, I'm going to turn the instrument on. There are two Aquamate models available. The AQ7100 Visible Light Spectrophotometer, which has a tungsten halogen lamp, and the AQ8100 UV Visible Light Spectrophotometer that uses a xenon flash lamp. The benefit of a xenon flash lamp is that it has a much longer life and doesn't require a warm-up time. If our laboratory uses a spectrophotometer infrequently, the AQ7100 Visible Light Spectrophotometer may be a better value, but it's important to remember that the AQ7100 requires approximately 30 minutes to warm up, and the tungsten halogen lamp doesn't last as long as the xenon lamp in the AQ8100. Aquamate spectrophotometers come with over 260 pre-programmed water analysis methods. These include methods that work with our thermoscientific aquafast reagents and some other manufacturers' reagents as well. And there's memory capacity to store many thousands of analysis results and custom methods or curves. Another interesting feature is how the sample holders are retained. The sample holders are held in by magnets so they're very easy to change. There's also a well in each holder, so it's easy to contain and clean up any accidental spills. The magnets have a satisfying positive engagement. The instrument is compatible with several different holders. The Aquamate comes with this round cuvette holder that works with cuvettes from 12 to 25 millimeters in diameter, the sizes that work with our Orion Aquafast reagents. There's also a holder for square 10 millimeter cells and one for rectangular cells ranging from 20 to 100 millimeters for determinations with a longer path length. So there's a lot of flexibility. One of the features we immediately notice when using Aquamate spectrophotometers is the glove compatible touchscreen. This makes the instrument much easier to navigate and use than the previous model. The touchscreen has the same functionality that we are accustomed to with a smartphone or a tablet. There is a settings gear icon for accessing the instrument settings and a familiar icon to go back to the home screen. We have over 260 water analysis methods that I talked about before, organized in easy to find water drop icon folders. For example, here is the Orion methods folder. Another item that I should point out is the quant feature. This allows the user to create custom methods and standard curves in a more traditional approach to spectrophotometry that is sometimes required in regulated or academic settings. There's also a smart start screen. This allows us to store frequently used methods in a special folder. So, for example, if I know that I'm going to do a chlorine test every day, I can store the appropriate method in this folder. To access the Smart Start feature, I simply go back to the Settings menu, then select Smart Start. This could be password protected if we want to limit access to just the selected methods. We also added this integrated printer. This comes standard with the AQ8100 model and is an optional accessory for the AQ7100 model. Next, I'd like to run a quick total chlorine analysis as a workflow demonstration. A couple of minutes ago, I prepared these samples to analyze using the Aquamate spectrophotometer. These were prepared using Thermoscientific Orion Aquafast total chlorine reagent powder packs. The part number is shown here on the package and correlates to the method on the Aquamate AC4P72. The reagent can be conveniently ordered using the same catalog number. We can access this pre-programmed method under the Orion Water Analysis droplet menu. From here, we can either scroll through the available methods or we can select the search bar. When this keyboard pops up, I will enter chlorine as the search parameter. Alternately, I could type in the reagent part number from the package. At this point, we can select method AC4P72, which matches the catalog number of my reagent. When the method is selected, we will find that a lot of information is available in this first screen. We can see that the wavelength is 510 nanometers and that the method is EPA approved for drinking water 
and wastewater. We can see the reagent number again, the necessary vial size, and the measurement range. There is a lot of detail in this screen. Once we've confirmed that we have the right method, we can select Continue. This brings us to the measurement screen. As part of the measurement process, we first need to run a blank. In this case, it's 10 mils of our sample placed in a vial. All we need to do is open the cover, pull back the retainer, and insert the vial with the arrow aligned forward. Then we can close the lid and select blank. And in a couple of seconds, it will tell us that it's done. Now we can move to the measurements. We take out the blank and insert our first sample. We can enter the sample number here if we want, or the meter will assign sequential sample numbers. Then we simply select measure, and the Aquamate spectrophotometer will tell us how much chlorine is in the sample. Then we can repeat the process for other samples by simply changing the sample in the holder and pressing measure again. The process is fast and easy. Once we are done with our experiments, the instrument automatically saves the results. We can also export them using USB memory media or by a direct network connection or by printing them using the integrated printer. As you can see, the Aquamate spectrophotometer line is an intuitively designed and flexible instrument. Whether our primary focus is on water quality, food and beverage quality control, or general analysis, Aquamate spectrophotometers are a valuable addition to any laboratory. I hope you found this demonstration video informative. For more information, visit us at thermofisher.com slash Aquamate.